Jeff Rowe with the Oakland Tribune stuff. Can Hello. you talk about uh, your reaction being named the team captain, a guy who um, didn't even play last year because of injury, and what that means to you that your teammates felt that way about you? It's a, just an honor to to have my teammates look at me like that as a uh, as a role model, as someone that does the right thing, and uh, it's really just a uh, an honor and a huge uh, just con uh, con uh, contribute a huge just compliment to just uh, hard work and and out there working hard and uh, just trying to do the right things and be where I'm supposed to be and uh, lead by example on and off the field in the classroom and in life. Uh, it just presents the uh, the challenge of one quarterback can run and throw, and then uh, another one they use for passes. So it really just makes you have to to prepare for more in your game plan and uh, and look at things, and you have to scheme a little differently for each quarterback. So then that gives you more in your plate to prepare for instead of just one specific offense. Now you got the zone read offense, and then you have their their passing attack offense. So it gives you a couple different aspects to prepare for. Uh, it's more so just uh, the coaches will set it up for us, and uh, I mean, if any, if you get tired out there, you gotta you gotta do what's best for the team. You don't want to be out there winded and uh, and hurting the team. So, but it's more so we just gotta be ready to play. And uh, in practice, we're we're getting in shape, and we're in camp this off season. We came in there in shape to camp. So it's really just uh, you just gotta try to stick it out and uh, and play and just help the team. What percentage of snaps do you think you in camp? I think we're gonna right now we're gonna try to be in there in all of them. Uh, every snap we can go, we're going to be full speed and uh, and out there and just leaving it all out there on the field. Stephen, there's a lot of changes on this team from a year ago. People in different positions, a new scheme, new coaches, some new personnel. What's the team's confidence level right now? And, and do you have to have some success to really develop legitimate confidence? Uh, right now, the team's team's confident. We we got a good summer behind us. We had a good good spring ball, and we've just been building on it this fall camp. And uh, guys have just been out there working hard and trying to get better. And every day, these coaches and this staff has just been pushing us to to get better. Every time we leave that field, to to get one one percent better, to get two percent better, and just to to know the scheme better and to be in the right spot and uh, and just go out there and make plays and play full speed and run to the ball. Uh, not really nervous, but just excited, curious about just just all that work to just see the hard work pay off and the excitement of, of facing someone new. We've been going against our offense for so many practices, so we're all excited to see this scheme work and to just see this unit grow and come together. And just this is just one of the stepping stones to to get to one of our goals. We got thirteen we got thirteen steps to try to get to our goals, so this is just one of them that we uh, that we got to overcome. One of the challenges. Uh, just his poise and uh, his ball placement. He he seems to put the ball in the right spot, away from the defender. He's got good touch on the on the ball. So uh, just his poise and and the way he really uh, he doesn't seem to be be shocked or surprised by any of the defensive rotations or anything like that. So he's out there throwing the ball in the right spot. He hasn't turned the ball over well. So so that's really impressive for for a young freshman coming coming into college early too. I think he's up there in the uh, in the top three. You got Marquise Lee, Robert Woods. He's he's up there for sure in the conference as as being explosive. He can change direction really well, catching the ball. His his hands are exceptional, and he uh, and he really goes out there and competes. And if the if it's a jump ball, he's gonna go for it 100 percent, and he's really gonna compete. So he's up there top three, and uh, I'm positive he's gonna have a uh, a great year this year, and and wouldn't be surprised if he's up there in in receiving yards and catches among the Pac-12 and in the nation. Okay, any more questions for Stefan? Hey, Stefan, I'm from Telex, uh, UC Berkeley's radio station. If you could describe um, your team status right now, what would it be? Excited. Just uh, really excited and, and juiced to play this first game. 
out here in Memorial with this new staff and this uh, basically a new era for Cal football under Coach Sonny Dykes and this spread high tempo offense that we have. Okay, further questions? Okay, great. Thanks, Steph. Thank you.